What is up everybody? It is Life's Apprentice. Well, I've been doing a lot of firewood and you guys have uh, missed out because I didn't film any of it. But uh, got a little bit of ash here left to do. Um, I'm just throwing it in a pile for now. And I've been working on this pile. I don't know. I probably got four or five hours into this pile trying to get all this ash done. But I'm hoping to get into this oak today because I know that this is going to take a while to dry. Um, it is cut and you can see it's starting to dry. Um, but my goal, I want to get all this ash right through here all done. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm just basically going to be showing you the equipment and running the equipment. We're just going to do a little session with the splitter here. And then, uh, then at the end of the video, I'll show you the progress um, that we've made and kind of give you a little tour of the inventory and uh, what you haven't seen here in the wood yard. So let's get into it. You guys can enjoy. I'll throw some music in here and uh, we'll do some splitting. <laughs>
some gnarly stuff. Um, kind of getting to the bottom, and those are some those are some gnarly stuff. This is a 35 ton brute uh, Briggs and Stratton powered, and I actually I've had no issues with it, um, other than we dropped something on the muffler and the shroud and broke it. Um, so in the last couple of videos, people were noticing it was really loud. Yeah, it was straight pipe. And uh, I just fixed that. It cost me a hundred bucks, but sounds like we ran out of fuel. Yeah, she's empty. We'll get her refilled, get back to it.
right, well, a little bit different video. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there just like seeing the equipment run and just kind of raw footage. So that's what I was trying to do with this one. Um, you see what we were splitting is pretty gnarly, not very straight grained. Well, uh, a couple of pieces were, but we're just gonna, I got this oak right here is gonna go next to this oak. So I'm guessing I'll have about two face cords there. Um, those will come out right here. And then basically this entire area is going to be like my summer um, firewood and you know for heating or for outdoor burning um, because I really don't get a whole lot of crappy wood around here a lot of people would say that ash is bad or you wouldn't want to use it for campfire wood but we have so much ash dead ash around here that it's probably I mean it's definitely the most common stuff that I get um, I do have like catalpa and I'll show you some of the other loads that I got but you know in the grand scheme of things probably 65% of the wood maybe 75% of the wood that I get is ash so if I'm going to sell summer campfire wood I think I'm going to mix um, ash and kind of whatever else I have um, into that um, and then we'll keep our oak um, some of the hard maple and stuff like that for that'll be our premium premium wood so let's go for a little walk here and i'll show you i guess what i've done that you guys maybe haven't seen i don't remember exactly where i left off um i was trying to get a lot of this out before snow and rain and stuff but we got all this is soft maple up to about here um and from here over all the way to the end is hard maple I have some bundle wood there, bundle wood there, and uh, this is all soft maple, almost a complete cord there. This is ash, um, two face cords, almost, just a little shy, but almost two face cords there. I don't think I filmed any of that. Um, and then out front, we have a bunch of wood out here too. I've just been trying to keep up as he brings it. But I've been a little bit more busy um, doing roofing projects and siding and stuff like that. So I haven't been able to work on it very much. But he dropped off a load yesterday right here that um, appears to be pretty much all box elder. Um, I don't know, there's a piece of pine there. But this looks like box elder, so this will be campfire wood for summer. Um, and then I have been selling out of the, the rack, um, but I've pulled multiple loads out of here. So what did I have here? I had a load of um, pine that I got cut and split. And I had a load of willow right here that I've started cutting and splitting. I also, part of the pine load was elm. And this stuff is ready to burn. So this is just shy of a face cord. This is eight feet by about three and a half. Um, that's ready to burn, so I put it out here, and I'm going to put a for sale sign on it right away. Uh, this is all the pine. I don't know how long that is. It's over eight feet and over four feet tall. Um, that's the pine. That stuff's still pretty green, and you can see. But this will go for campfire wood eventually. In the summer, it should dry pretty quick. And then um, this was the start of the uh, willow that will also be for summer campfire wood um, and i still have all of this to go for the willow and then this is uh what is it bitter nut hickory um so this is going to be some quality stuff here there's a little bit of apple in there too that's apple 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 and we'll get into this but i was just trying to kind of work my way back and it's just turned into a big mess and now we're kind of going through the breakup period where everything's starting to melt, frost is coming out of the ground, and uh, everything's just muddy and messy. So I have done my best to keep up um, with the tree service wood. I would say I'm doing okay, um, not great, but uh, you know, they keep bringing wood, and if he's bringing these dump trailer loads or I don't know, two, three face cords, some of them bigger, by the time I cut and split that, I mean, that's a half a day right there. So some days he's bringing two in a day. I can't, it's hard for me to keep up with all the other uh, things going on, but definitely starting to stack up some wood for real now. 
Um, I'm going to start, once the mud goes away and everything like that, we're going to get this area cleaned up and I'm going to start just piling wood in here. Um, this will be more high quality wood and like I said, I think I'm just going to kind of, I wish you would have dropped that box elder over here so I can mix it in or put a pile next to the ash there, but uh, it is what it is. I got the tractor. I can move it. I think a lot of that stuff out front, I'm going to just put T-posts out. I'm going to split it and stack it right there, put a price tag on it, and then this summer people can come and buy it. Um, hopefully that works. I got some more apple here, and uh, I got all this, these big rounds of oak here. Um, that's going to make a lot of wood. We got some white oak and some red oak. So, yeah, I'd say that's about a cord and a half, maybe, maybe two cords, but I doubt it. Anyways, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you did like that. Um, I can do whatever kind of videos you guys like to watch. And uh, ideally, if you guys like to watch them, um, I would like to make them that way. So leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm going to get back to it here. Keep on keeping on.